Hey everyone and fans, John AC from New Jersey. This is our third video uh, for this ATS automatic transfer switch, which is an OT70. In the first two videos, we were uh, uh, fixing some problems with this uh, switch. I bought it used. Thing was a piece of junk uh, because everything was fried. But we got all the problems straightened out. Thing works great. Uh, in the first, uh, or actually the second video, when we got the thing working, I was actually running the uh, 7.5 uh, Onin which on gasoline work great but my ultimate goal was to use this switch for my diesel sets okay which I got too okay uh, it requires the uh, preheat circuit to be activated in order to uh, activate the glow plugs and the preheat plug prior to cranking over the motor something new to me and I don't think there's much information on the smokestack forum the Onan forum uh, that addresses that so and I know right now there's somebody else beside me trying to get one of these things working with their diesel set so here I am, I'm going to do a video. Uh, I started my uh, diesel set once the way I got a wire. By the way, all the wiring is temporary. All right, this is just for a demo purpose. So currently right now, I'm running off of line power, as you can see. Normal, available, lights are on. Thing is connected to my MIG welder outlet. Oh, that's another transfer switch. Completely different, that works, but we're not using that today, obviously. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill the power from the line to this... Uh, transfer switch right here uh, to simulate a power outage and hopefully it will go through its normal steps and wake up this uh, diesel generator. It's a single cylinder DJA by the way. Uh, hopefully it will start it but before it actually tries to crank it over I expect that the preheat plug which is this coily thing to get uh, like cherry red, bright orange, whatever. There's also a glow plug in the cylinder but obviously you're not going to be able to see it in the video. So once we go through all the steps as the thing is uh, waking up uh, the generator I'm going to focus in on the preheat plug see if that that turns the cherry red uh, before it starts cranking I expect within a certain period of time I can set all the timings through, through the uh, box here the uh, power sentry box I expect uh, within time the generator should uh, start up and then the glow plug uh, go dim then off okay so let's do this to simulate the power failure Oh, by the way, you, we, we got two light bulbs, same light bulbs that we had in our last videos. That represents the power from the uh, either the line side or the generator side. That's 240 volts, but I split it 120, 120 for each leg, obviously. Uh, we'll check the hertz too, although that's more specific to the generator or the line side. Right now we got 60 hertz, which is great, <laughs> obviously. So let's simulate a uh, power failure. Let me kill the breaker to the MIG welder outlet down below. Okay, here we are. All right, okay, the preheat should be on. Let's check the uh, glow plug. The pre there we go, turning cherry red. Now, I don't know how many seconds I got this thing set for. Uh, maybe like 30 seconds or so, hopefully shorter. But uh, usually these uh, sets require about a good 30 seconds or so of uh, preheat. Uh, I'm going to step back because once this thing starts kicking, it's going to get a little loud. Uh, by the way, if you hear anything rattling, it's that guy right there, so it's going to sound a little crummy, but it's actually the uh, flapper. Here we go. All right, good. In a minute, it's going to transfer over, which I hope the book there is out. There we go, that's good. All right, within a few moments, it should transfer the power from the generator to the uh, load. Let's see what happens. Watching those lights right there. Any minute. It's like watching grass grow. Hopefully you could hear me. Ah, there we go. Transfer complete. So right now we're running on generator power. The diesel uh, the free circuit went on appropriately. Got off. We're running no load right now, so we're about you know 62 hertz. Everything good. Let's check our status lights right here. Emergency power, which is the generator is connected, it's available, obviously. Everything good. Alright, so this is running diesel right now. And again, I apologize for the crummy noise. That right there, I don't know if you come through in the video. 
So what I'm going to do right now is restore the power, like uh, as if the uh, power failure is over and done with. Uh, let me get the thing down here. It sees the line side power from the uh, grid. There's going to be a delay to allow the uh, power from the grid to stabilize it. There we go. All right, right now we're back on the grid. And there's going to be a slight delay. There we go, before I shut off the uh, generator. Okay, all these delays I could uh, uh, adjust them, whatever. But for the demo purpose here for the video, I got everything set pretty low as far as timing. Uh, all the uh, delays are set through there. There's little adjustments, whatever. And also on here too. So anyway, so here we are. We got this thing working with the diesel. Uh, required one extra wire, okay, between the transfer switch and the diesel set in order to use the preheat for the diesel okay by the way you also need the uh, the uh, in this case for the uh, OT transfer case you need the optional M0023 wire start with preheat for this to happen so the uh, additional wire that you need that goes between the transfer switch and the set actually is connected between wire number or excuse me terminal number five this is a TB3 terminal strip for the OT uh, uh, sets or uh, transfer switches and that wire that goes from terminal number five simply goes to the H terminal on your set. I never knew what the H meant for. And I rebuilt many of these boxes in the past for all different sets, everything, everything over here. I rebuilt all these uh, boxes from A to Z. But anyway, I never knew what the H meant, never needed to. But basically, I guess H would, would it stand for hell, help, heater, I don't know. But anyway. All you need is the preheat board and the transfer switch and a wire between H and terminal number 5 for the OT uh, series switches with the M002 uh, three wire start and you're in business. And that's about it. If you do not have preheat hooked up to your diesel set it's going to crank it over and it's not probably not going to start too well because you won't have uh, you know obviously any preheat in this uh, for the cylinders and it'll probably end up cranking and cranking and cranking and Eventually, uh, if you have an over, uh, over crank circuit, it'll probably lock it out. But anyway, so that's really about it. Everything seems to work good. Uh, again, I apologize. These wires that I got running are just uh, a temporary hookup. And uh, we'll get things straightened out. Maybe someday I'll get this thing on the wall hooked up to the bigger sets. But for right now, we'll play around with the little single cylinder diesel. The uh, DJA as it is. All right, so... I don't know if this was helpful or not. Uh, War Wagon on the Onan uh, smokestack form. Uh, he's trying to get his uh, uh, OT transfer switch hooked up, and I'm not sure if he's up to this point yet. But all you need is a wire from terminal number five on your TB3 uh, terminal strip and connect that to your H terminal on your set. Okay. Uh, if I open up the uh, control boxes on any of those other sets, there will be an H. Okay and you should be in business if things are wired correctly okay within the control boxes all right so that's really about it i'm gonna have fun i'm gonna keep turning on and off the power and uh do nothing much other than that for now all right it's a crummy day outside raining okay we got thunderstorm coming in so what else can i do all right you all have a good time this is johnny c from new jersey take care bye